Welcome back to another episode of Good Cooking. And today I'm showing you another one of my grandma's great dishes. It's Nan's fried chicken. All right, Benny, what do you think we got here? Chicken? <laughs> These are breasts, something you've never seen in your life before. <laughs> These are actually the nicest breasts, be honest. Are these the nicest breasts you've seen in a while? I'm asking ever. ever. Far and away. Look at this. The biggest. Look at the level. Yes. Good. Anyway, we got about five really nice chicken breasts here. We got a little uh, egg, a little flour. I'm gonna just season up my flour with a little bit of salt and a little pepper, as we do to most things. Gonna give it a little whoop-de-woo, is what we're gonna call this. A little whoop-de-woo, mix it all around. This dish is one of my favorites, and I just recently introduced it to Lindsay, and she can't get enough. So here we are. I was gonna buy three chicken breasts today. She goes, why don't you go for the five? I go, you know what? It's a good idea. Even if there's a little leftover, you throw it in the fridge, bang, put it on a little piece of bread in the morning. I have it in the morning. You can have it in the afternoon, but it's, it's absolutely delicious. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this breast, I'm gonna cut it like right down the middle, and then I'm just gonna make little pieces like this. Look at that, Ben. That's what we're looking for. Like little medallions, shall I say. And what I'm gonna do is throw them in the egg. We're just gonna repeat the process. You don't want them too big and you don't wanna pound them out. You know, when I do the chicken cutlets, I do it very, very thin because that's how I like chicken parmesan. That's how I like a chicken cutlet is very thin, very crispy. But with these, I like it a little bit more plump, a little bit more juicy. Ben, mom make nice chicken dishes growing up at all? I know she's, uh, you know, into cooking. Do we get any nice uh, chicken dishes at all? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of the rest of the show, Ben. That's fine. You've gone mute. You can't figure out your camera? What the hell are you doing up there? Trying to get some focus over Spokes, here. Folks, he's on the roof. He's shooting also, from the ceiling. Also, you gave me no time to respond. Uh, I, I gave you plenty. Ample. You just Ample. You, you just do you your <laughs> egg wash over there. Right. I'm down here. We're filming it. We're filming We're doing it live. F it. So we got that. Now we're just going to, boom, right in our flour. Let the egg drip off a little bit. You don't want to get a tremendous amount of egg, you know, no, not a lot of extra egg in there. So just throw it in there. Nice. Put it in there. And do is toss them around. Flour, flour, flour. Okay, take our fork, shake them off a little bit. We're gonna put them on our dish over here. So you see we're getting that nice, just a nice coating on there. So the thing that's so nice about this dish is also, you can do it any day of the week. These are, you know, a lot of these meals that uh, we're making here, you can do quick on the go. Everyone's got a busy life. Was this a meal that your grandma would make for special occasions or? No, this was a midweek dish. You could walk into our house. You know, I live next door. I'm talking to you right now. I don't give a about the camera, Ben. I'm having a one-on-one -on -one with you. You're my friend and you own half this show or maybe more. I have no idea what those paperwork terms worked out to be. <laughs> So I live next door and you'd walk in maybe on a Wednesday and she'd be making this dish, smelled fantastic, but it was so simple, so delicious. It's just one of those things that as soon as I made it recently, it brought back a lot of nice memories. You know, my cousin was a year older than me. We used to go over there, we used to eat all the chicken and then we would punch each other in the face and go outside and play football. It was a beautiful childhood. And uh, this was one of the meals that I really loved when she made. And it's just all, all purpose flour, regular all purpose flour. You don't need nothing fancy. If you're gluten, uh, you know, hey, listen, I don't know what to tell you. This is not the show for you. You want to get nice chicken too, like I always tell you. This is from my uh, guys over at the Huntington Meats. They always have really nice stuff, organic, high quality, and uh, that's why I suggest, like I always do, using local people because they care about their business and they give you good stuff. So after you've cut up all your chicken, put it in the egg and the flour, put it on your plate, you're ready to fry it. Shake off a little of that flour, and the pan we're going. And you're just gonna wanna brown them on each side. And they're not gonna take that long because they're small pieces, so they will cook rather fast, so you don't have to leave them in there too long, but we wanna get a nice little crust on them. Ben, how nice would this have been to come home as a young kid and have this on I, the stove top? I probably would be a happier person. Instead, Becky guy. rang the triangle. Bling, 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 come get your watercress. Fun, but then again, that's why you're able to run five miles and I can barely drive five miles. So yeah, you don't want the heat too high. I got it on medium. I'm also using vegetable oil. I always prefer, I do my chicken cutlets in olive oil, but this, for this chicken. And it's going to be delightful here, Benny. You hear that goodness sizzling up on that? Oh my God. When is the Food Network gonna give us a show? I gotta tell you, I've been watching a couple of things on the Food Network. Food Network, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna say it. Your content sucks. You need real people on there. You don't need people 
who have never cooked before, who have never come from a family that cooks, giving education to the world. You need Ben and I. We don't know what the hell we're doing, but we're entertaining. Look at that. And then here, I wanna let you know this. When these are done, you're gonna put them on your platter, your plate, whatever you're doing. When they're hot, hit them with the salt and give a nice, generous squeeze of lemon all over them. Let the salt and that, that lemon soak in, baby. And this is going to be a dish you are going to make consistently. It is so good, so delightful. You're gonna be eating them as I put them on. They're gonna be like popcorn for you. And you see that flour gives it just a little bit of the crust that we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna put that there. You wanna do it a little more, you can do it a little more too. But like, I like a light golden. The egg and the flour is gonna create such a nice little crust, a very light crust. So it's kinda like fried chicken light, but very light. The lemon just brings out so much of that flavor, the salt, so you get that lemon, salty, good chicken, tender, with that little crust on. We're gonna try one of these before we make it to the dinner table. You and I are gonna have a little sample. These babies are almost done. Look, see, look at that golden. It's like a beautiful chicken nugget, baby. Look at this, you're gonna go, you're gonna go to McDonald's and let them give you chicken nuggets? Look at this. All white meat, fresh, organic, cut right in front of me today. Then I come home, nurture it, look at this. Ben, look, come on. All right, let's hit this thing with a little lemon, Ben. Look at that. Let's hit it with some salt. Yes, yes, yes. This dish is phenomenal. Listen, while you're waiting in line at the drive-thru at McDonald's or Chick-fil-A or Kentucky Fried Chicken, you could have already had this meal done. I'm talking to the moms out there. Mom, you wanna take care of your kids? You're worried about them in school, doing this, doing that? Feed them good stuff. Get some nice organic chicken and make a dish like this. It takes 20 minutes. You could have been home already, but no, you're waiting in the McDonald's line for Chicken Nug Nugs. No, you make them on your own. They're absolutely perfect, delicious, and everyone will love them, and you're feeding your family good stuff. Listen, if you want this recipe, and I know you do, the recipe is in the description below. And from our house to yours, bon appetit. It's gonna be hot. Oh my God. How good is that? How good is that? It's like a gourmet chicken nugget. Uh huh. What dipping sauce do you go for? Nothing. Nothing. You just get the lemon. We can do whatever you want, but, but you, you come on.